Hey guys, so we're just going to take a quick look at the Substance add-on for Blender. It's actually really simple. Uh, first things first, got to go to the W website to download it, but once you install the add-on, uh, you'll need to install their tool that goes along with it. So you'll get two zip files, just install the zip file from the add-on. So um, once you do that, you'll have some options in here you can configure if you want. Um, but you'll get, if you press N, the little Substance tab, you can load up SBS AR files, right? And so you can go find any of the SBSAR files you have. And go ahead and just uh, load them up. The only problem is you don't get preview images. So that's kind of, uh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but uh, not too bad anyways. So you can do whatever, uh, do dirty concrete block here. Uh, if you have a material already on your object, you got to get rid of it. You can apply the new one. And what you'll see is that when we go to material preview, uh, it is now applied, like so, which is nice. Uh, but the parameters are still exposed, so you can always uh, change things over here. Might have to expand this out a bit, but you can change like the wall tile, or whatever the case may be right here, as needed. You can see the bricks are changing, that's nice. Change the tiling size for the overall texture. So if you want more or less, you can do that. Let me see here. This one kind of looks like when it tiles a lot. Window lights, you know, change these around as well. Um, and this is a um, material from uh, Ambient CG, I think. So it has Ambient CG, the website, has SBSAR files you can actually uh, download. Right. And so um, that's cool. Let's go over to Designer real quick, though. So Substance Designer, when you create a new package, right-click, create a new Substance Graph. Uh, you load up something like the um, Base Material node, right? And this is usually, you can right click, drag and drop it down here. So you can create materials super fast with either this node or the one I, I've made. It is um, called the Master Material Node. It's on Gumroad, you can download this thing. But it's basically the same thing. It's just a little more involved. It has all the different outputs. Um, so you could try using that if you wanted as well. But uh, So we can enable and disable. Same will happen on my node if you want to use it. Um, things like base color or... You can leave metallic off maybe, but we can add like roughness, for example, or normal maps. So we can do normals real quick. Drop it in normal. And uh, plug that into normal, preferably. And let's take a procedural here. Plug that into it. Now we can see that's going on. All right, maybe we'll do a color. Make it like a darker gray. Plug it in. And... Uh, Last but not least, we need to do some roughness. And so for roughness, let's just do like clouds. Okay. Oops. Getting all of my nodes mixed up here. Um, we're going to send this into uh, a gradient map. Oops, sorry. No, no we're not. This, I got them backwards. My nodes set up the other way, and I usually I use that. But anyways, uh, we can run this into a histogram um, range. Plug that in there. So we change the range, we can collapse it down a little bit. Just maybe we want to make something like concrete or something like that, right? Asphalt, perhaps. Uh, so we can do things like that super fast, procedural. And when we save this, let's just rename it. We'll call it asphalt. Okay, we can save this wherever we want. I'm going to save it to my SPS files folder. Um, that's great, but we can also export this output as. Oh, sorry. I got to select this node, right click, create output nodes. And it's going to ask for hidden connectors. I'm going to click no real quick. And um, also, I want to change this color later. So, what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to expose this as new graph input. And we can just say this is going to be color, okay? Label color. The default will be this, okay? So, there we go. We can save that again. And now we can actually grab the Top one here and publish it. Okay, we're going to publish it just to the desktop real quick. And I'm going to uncheck pixel size. That's that's it for that. Now in Substance, what we can do is we can load it up because it's an SBSAR file. Now check out uh, SBSAR files file size um, because they're procedural and that's a really basic one. It's only like four kilobytes. Like it's it's a really small file, right? And um, so we can load this up. We'll get rid of the material. We'll apply the asphalt. And voila, there we go. We have created a substance material. 
that quick. So uh, it's tiling at three by default, but you might want to set it back to one or whatever, or maybe increase it even. Anytime you change this stuff, um, just be aware that if you update the file here, the SBSAR file, which you might do, uh, you can refresh it very quickly by just hitting refresh here. But the problem with this is it'll reset all your settings, just so you know. Uh, but you can now see that the color here has been exposed. So now we can run through and change the color as we want. All right? So that's a really quick, easy way of creating materials for Blender. Uh, especially good for like previs when you're trying to just come up with ideas and um, you want to create some materials. You don't necessarily want to download any and create some custom stuff. This is great for that. Okay. So anyways, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll check you guys out in the next one. All right. Take care.